Portsmouth City Council not above the law. David Clark, with the assistance of Dave Courtney, took Portsmouth City Council to court and won the case for loss of property and damages. When Dave Clark returned from mission work in the Philippines in 2004, a plot of derelict land in Portsmouth was identified. It jutted out into Langston Harbour and was ideally suited to bring a ship from Holland and moor her there for charity use. Portsmouth City Council could not confirm that they owned the land and the land was not registered with the land registry, which was required in law. It was assumed that the owners of the land had died and Portsmouth City Council were trying to gain ownership of the land by adverse possession. The land was worth millions of pounds. It was then decided to fence the land off and occupy it and then lay claim to it as we had good use for the land and this was duly done and registered with the land registry. Portsmouth City Council stepped in, damaged our caravan and transit van and towed them away, along with the Harris fence which had been donated by Bovis to Dave Courtney and for the good work that we were doing. So, it was decided to take the council to court and sue them for damages, a case that we won in court. The Portsmouth News ran the story. Charity director is suing council which destroyed his property. A man who set up a charity on land he believed no longer owned is now suing Portsmouth City Council for loss of property. David Clark, director of Trojan Horse International, a charity aimed at helping young people move away from crime, set up a branch of the charity at Great Sultan's Quay in Eastley Road, Portsmouth. He arranged for a BMX bike ramp to be built on the site and fencing to go around it. He also kept a caravan and a transit van there. He set up on the land on the 17th of July with the help of former gangster Dave Courtney, but on July 23rd, Portsmouth City Council removed everything. Mr Clark, 57, of Hailing Close Fairham, is now claiming £4,115 damages from the council for the loss of property. He was assisted in court by Mr Courtney, a man who admits being involved with debt collecting, mining clubs, assault, contraband and murder but has changed his ways to make sure young people don't end up in the criminal world the way he did. But the council has entered a counterclaim at Portsmouth County Court for £310. The costs of removing the property from the land plus court costs. Council legal representative Joy Hallen said, We maintain we carried out the correct procedure under the regulations. The council believes the property on the land had been abandoned. However, Mr Clark believes the council did not give him sufficient time to remove the property from the land. He said, I asked the council if it owned the land and was told they believed they did, but they couldn't produce the deeds. So I went on to the land registry to register my intentions to use the land. I accept the council have found the deeds and the land belongs to it, but it took them a whole year to produce the documents. I don't see how it thought the property was abandoned and I want compensation for what was taken and destroyed. The case has been set aside until July. The amusing part of the story was that, in court, Mr Clark requested Judge Ackroyd time for his legal representative to arrive, as he was travelling from London. And when asked who his representative was, he told him it was Mr Dave Courtney. Dave Courtney duly arrived, with his assistants and the case proceeded. The amusing part of the story is that during the hearing, the court tannoy called out for the owner of the white Rolls Royce to remove it from the court driveway. At the end of the case, Judge Ackroyd, with a smile on his face, said to Mr Courtney, next time, would he please park his Rolls Royce in the appropriate place? And we don't know how Judge Ackroyd knew that that was Dave's Rolls Royce. In the July case, Judge Ackroyd found the council guilty of removing and destroying the equipment as it was clear that the land was occupied and a notice should have been served. He was awarded damages but only £400 as he could not claim for the replacement costs of those items that were given to him for charity. More about Dave Clark in his book Converted on LSD Trip, available in the UK and America from Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. Hello, I'm Maisie the Librarian. 
as you are listed among my daddy's friends on Facebook, you're an ideal person to write a review of my daddy's book. Newly listed on Amazon, I've included a direct link to its Amazon listing. So you can have a quick look. It doesn't matter if you find the story unbelievable or disagree with his conclusions. Your comments in an Amazon review will help market his book. My dad always says, any publicity is good publicity. Go to my Facebook page, Diamond Trail Library, for more information. Goodbye.